What's up guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to use your laptop as a desktop. So I haven't been really making any video and hadn't really had any idea of video so I thought why not just do this. So the laptop that I'm using is Compaq Pajero CQ60. This is by far the worst laptop ever. You're going to find a lot of used Compaq Pajero CQ60 in Amazon, eBay. I saw a lot of them. So this has a single core 2.2 gigahertz processor and 2 gigs of RAM. So I got this uh, from Best Buy at 2009 and it cost $400. And right now it's almost unusable. Couple reasons. First of all, the battery is completely dead. I mean, it can't even last one second. Second, the power cord that you see right there it comes off if you try to move the laptop. Third, the keyboard, the shift button somehow popped out, so I can't really use the shift button. There is another shift on the right side, but I mean, my hand is used to uh, pressing it on the left side, so it doesn't really work. And another thing, the left mouse click just doesn't work. In order to make it work, you have to press like your entire body to actually make it work. But you could just use the trackpad and just tap it and it usually works. And this is, uh, uh, it only works with the one finger. So there is nothing like two finger uh, scrolling. So it's pretty much the worst laptop ever. And there's also other issues with this problem. First, you can't really put this laptop anywhere besides a desk because it will overheat. The fan is like at the bottom of the laptop, so the way it was designed is just bad. And also, the display on this laptop is just bad. Uh, it is a TN panel, but the viewing angle is just bad. So if I lift the uh, screen even like by an inch, it's almost unusable, uh, as you could see in the video. So now let's turn this into a desktop. Because the laptop is so bad, I'm going for a setup where I don't even have to touch the laptop. For that reason, I have a HP keyboard that has a lot of function keys and it's also a USB hub. So uh, as you could see, there's a lot of function keys at the top. I'm able to control the volume, uh, make it mute, and also uh, by pressing one button, I, I could let the computer go to sleep. So this is a cool keyboard because it also has a USB hub. That's the main reason. And you could probably get this keyboard from like Goodwill for probably like five bucks. It came with the old HP desktop. So for the mouse, I'm gonna be using a normal Logitech mouse. Uh, it doesn't have anything special. It does have a scrolling wheel, which is essential in web browsing. And it's pretty much just a normal mouse. And now for the most important part of turning a laptop into a desktop, which is the monitor. Uh, I have an Element 23 inch monitor. I got this from uh, uh, at Black Friday from Walmart for like 72 bucks. It's actually not that good of a monitor, but it's a great TV. Uh, the resolution is 1366 by 768 for a 23 inch display is kind of bad but the good thing about it is uh, it's it has eight millisecond response time which is kind of bad a little bad but it's pretty good uh, it has a vga and a hdmi cable so the good thing about it is it has a vga and the compact uh, laptop only has a VGA cable so it's essential to have a VGA cable and it also has HDMI cable so I always have it hooked up to my Xbox so I could just change the input and play Xbox and use the laptop and now for the speakers I have just like a normal uh, Philips speaker these are actually kind of really old and they don't work very well uh, you could even hear the radio uh, if I am like listening to it with using headphones so it's not really good but it doesn't matter I just wanted external he uh, speaker you don't even have to have that because the laptop that I am using actually has a pretty good speaker but no subwoofer and this has a pretty good subwoofer so now let's start with the setup I don't have the stand connected to the monitor, so it's just flushed uh, at the edge of the desk so it doesn't fall off. And it's pretty good because uh, all the cables could directly fall down uh, at the edge of the table. So now let's turn on the laptop. 
So sometimes what I realize is the computer doesn't turn on when the USB cable is connected. So I disconnect the USB cable and it starts working. So I'm not sure what the problem is. So it has to turn on. And I never usually turn off the laptop because it's usually not necessary. I could just leave it on at all day and just make the computer go to sleep or hibernate. So now the computer is turning on. Now we could uh, reconnect the USB port now we're all done with the setup uh, I don't have a mouse pad so I just put a normal magazine and it seems to work well uh, now you could see the laptop and the monitor is mirroring the same thing so now it's set to duplicate the display but we're gonna change it to only show the monitor but not the laptop so you could do that by right clicking and clicking screen resolution and we're gonna change the multiple display option to show desktop only two, the show only desktop two. So what that does it it only shows the monitor, not the laptop display. And you may have to adjust the display resolution if you have a different resolution monitor and a different resolution laptop. And it shouldn't be a problem. I tried with 1080p monitor and it doesn't have any problem. So now we're gonna completely turn into a desktop to do that. Um putting the laptop to sleep just by uh, putting uh, shutting off the display and once the laptop is at sleep you could figure that out uh, once the sound for the fan turns off we're gonna hit the space bar once you hit the space bar your monitor should wake up and your laptop should wake up and now you have a full functioning desktop pretty much so I have been doing this for a couple of days and I don't even have to touch the laptop because uh, the keyboard is a USB hub I'm able to connect another uh, another USB device I could connect a flash drive uh, there is some problem if the USB drive does require more power you're gonna have to directly connect it to the laptop but besides that it works perfectly and because I'm using a multi-functioning keyboard I'm able to control the volume directly from the keyboard so that's pretty convenient uh, especially when you're watching a YouTube video or listening to music you want to be able to control the sound of the music you don't want to drag your mouse to the bottom right corner to do that and you could do that by just scrolling the wheel and everything works perfectly uh, as you could see I'm web browsing even though I am connecting an external monitor and external speaker keyboard and mouse the it's still running from the same laptop that means the performance uh, the processing power is still the same before I transformed this laptop into a desktop I had this laptop sitting on a shelf for nearly two years not doing anything now I'm giving the laptop another day to live now with this setup I'm able to use it for word processing and web browsing I am able to play Halo Combat Evolved at the very low setting at native resolution which is 1366 by 768 even at 2009 this was like a very very low end uh, laptop you wouldn't be able to play games it does have an integrated Intel GMA 4500M graphics that uses the same RAM as the system RAM so like I said it only has 2 gigs of RAM and about 128 megabyte is using for video so you're getting less than 2 gigs of RAM but even with Windows 7 I'm able to browse the web watch 360p YouTube video or 480p like I said it can't really play HD and it work it's working pretty well I've been using it for the last few days and I've been actually really using this laptop and it will, it's it's the performance is pretty good so I've been rambling for way too long. I should probably end the video. Uh, before I end the video, I want to show you how easy it is to make the laptop go to sleep. I could just press the button on the top left part of the keyboard and it goes to sleep. And the monitor automatically shuts off after a limited amount of time. So I don't even have to worry about that. That's all. Thanks for watching.